Okay, so we've got our file. Now one of the first things I'd like to do is just declare variables. So there's two variables we want to declare and one is the penguin texture. The other one is the Eskimo texture. So we'll make a public public okay, texture and it'll be penguin. The next one is for the Eskimo texture, so public texture Eskimo. There we have it. So we have two textures we're going to be dealing with, Penguin and Eskimo. So once we've got that, the next step is what we want to do is when they press uh, a key, a letter, let's say the letter E for Eskimo, it's going to trigger the RPC call. And when they press the letter P for the penguin, that'll also trigger an RPC call for basically whatever texture we want to apply at that time. So what I can do here is um, if um, input dot get get key down Okay, and the key code dot e. Okay, so that means if it's e, that's right. Okay, do this. There we go. So what this is saying is, hey, if we press the letter key, that's an e, do this. And what we wanted to do is we want to set off a photon view dot rpc call and it's got to be our function we'll call the function change texture now or something okay and I want to, to set it to everybody photon targets all and we'll give it a value of one because we're going to be checking you know one for the penguin two for the Eskimo and close that off. Now as I was typing I was seeing a bunch of stuff happening there and I think I know what it is. We have to extend the photon monon behavior. So photon, there we go, I forgot that part. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. Just save it. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the other one is gonna be exactly the same except it's going to be two to represent the Eskimo. So I'm going to just go down here and just uh, paste it in. Okay. And here I'm just going to notate um, penguin. And over here I'm going to notate Eskimo. And good. Photon view.rpc change texture now. Photon targets all good. And we want this to be a two because it's our second selection. Now, so now that we've got this, we're calling, we're making the RPC call, but there's no RPC we're calling just yet because we haven't made that function just yet. So we're gonna do that right now. So it's a void because it doesn't return anything. And it's called change texture now. Okay, good. And we're going to be picking up a parameter that's an integer and we'll just call it you know, choice. There we go. Okay. Close that off like so. And to make this function into an RPC call, we just have to do this. Square bracket RPC. Close square bracket. Save that. Now the idea here again is if they choose one, photon view RPC gets called and it goes over here and it's saying, you know, what's your choice? And then from here, we can put a an if statement. Okay, so we can say something to the effect if, oops, if choice equals equals one, I want you to do this. And you can do this to else 
if you can just do an else because there's actually just two choices but I'll just show you the whole thing if choice equals equals two do this okay so we have our if statement set up there and we're going to be asking the question and based on the reply we're going to um, apply the texture we want now to apply the texture we have to reference the object that this behavior is on and to do that we say the object is the game oh, Gabe game object and we're interested in the material so the how it's rendered so the renderer dot material dot the main texture and we want to have it equal a choice was the first one right yeah the penguin is the penguin texture penguin and for the second one exact same except it's going to be the Eskimo texture that one up there now you're probably wondering at this point okay that's all great James but how are these things hooking up that's a very good question because these things hook up actually in unity what happens is when we declared this it basically created an area where we can drop in the texture and then it knows what texture we're talking about otherwise it's not gonna work so let's quickly take a look here public texture Eskimo good update key down texture changes we have our RPC call looks pretty good so far I'm gonna save it I'm gonna go back to unity okay and go to our resources and let's take a look over here oh see that that's where we can drop in the textures oh this is getting good so I'm gonna throw in the texture there so the penguin texture goes here and the Eskimo texture goes here and let's save this and I'm gonna press play and create room so I'm moving around moving around and if I press E yes a little tiny but you could see it it's an Eskimo if I press P if I press P it doesn't work so we've got an error okay so let's take a look here what does it say here oh we have a whole bunch of errors here, hold on here let's go back to our script because the first one worked pretty good right didn't it yeah it did let's take a look here you know you probably saw it earlier when I was typing and it's probably bothering you but it's here it's got to be the letter P there we go this will work now let's go back sorry about that guys okay so let's run this I'm gonna create room move around here press P good we have our penguin press E and we have our Eskimo very cool stop it okay now that we've got it working we're gonna create a build and I'm, I'm gonna command B here it's gonna build it build this little player so we can run two one at a time or at the same time rather good and we'll run in windowed mode good play all that's starting up I'm going to start this up here and I'm going to create my little room okay there we go and I'm going to show you there's going to be a problem that's going to come up watch this and this was the problem that I solved a while back so here if I go here and we press E they both turn into the Eskimo that's not what we want what we want is if I press P over here they both turn into the penguin what we want is I only want my choice to be affected and not everybody else's and there's a simple reason for that 
And the reason is literally one line. It's called photon view that is mine. And the idea with photon view that is mine, dot is mine, is that it gives ownership to the current player for whatever RPC call it's calling. So it calls out to everybody and it affects only that player and everybody basically gets to see what just happened. So we're gonna add one line to our script. And we're gonna add that to, we're gonna add it up here. There we go. And here we're gonna say, if photon view dot is mine, basically I would only want it to affect me, nobody else. But I want everybody to see what's happening, hence I'm going to do an RPC call. That's all we have to add. If photon view is mine, do this and show everybody what I did, but don't affect everybody else. And that's the idea of the RPC call here. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to Unity. And one of the things that I did was, I'm not sure if I actually showed it, was um, for the sphere here. I did it, what's called a reset. Just reset this and I reapplied my texture. So the Eskimo goes there. The penguin, oops, I hate it when I do that. The penguin goes here. Okay, now this should work. I'm going to build again. I'm going to just close this. Quit. I'm gonna build. And then it should give us what we want. Don't worry, we're almost done. Okay, good. Going to place that there. Run this. Create room. There we go. Okay. And we'll go here. I'm going to join the room. And on this side here, I'm going to go Eskimo. Eskimo. I go on this side. I'm going to go Penguin. Notice. One's a penguin, one's an Eskimo. And that's how you do this. So in this video, we basically use the Photon Unity Networking demo worker as a starting point. We got our textures. We created an object, these guys here, a sphere. We turned it into prefab. We created our change texture script. We applied it to the object. Then we just swapped it around with the original player. We also applied the various uh, behaviors onto the object itself so that it would propagate into the scene. And that's how you change the texture. Hope you enjoyed this video. And remember everybody, just be nice and be kind. And if it's within your power to help someone, then do it. It'll be good.